Hello everyone, welcome once again to 3dprintonics.com. In our last part, we had learned how to assemble the basic frame of the Z axis and the X axis. In this part, we shall be learning how to complete the assembly of the Z axis and the X axis. For this, we would be requiring the following components. Firstly, the plastic part. We would need the X carriage. We have prepared this X carriage with zip ties. We shall be showing you subsequently how to install these zip ties. Two 5 mm diameter to 5 mm diameter helical couplers. These are supplied in the kit. One 915 mm long GT2 belt. One GT2 pulley. 3 NEMA 17 motors, 2 for the Z axis and 1 for the X axis. 2 300 mm long M5 threaded rods. 11 keys for working with the screws. And of course, we would require the previous assembly which we had assembled in part 3. Having seen the parts, now let's move on to the build. First of all, we need to install the X carriage onto the X axis. For this, we need to prepare the X carriage with zip ties in the following manner. Take a zip tie, keep the knob portion of the zip tie, this portion, away from your, yourself and insert the zip tie onto the top portion like this. Thereafter, turn the X carriage away and pull the zip tie and loop it from behind in this manner then pull the zip tie in the front in this manner we need to install four zip ties on the top portion and two zip ties on the bottom portion take this X carriage which we had prepared with zip ties and install it in this manner the linear bearings should snap fit into the X carriage turn this entire assembly upside down in this manner Now we need to tighten the zip ties one by one. First of all, we must tighten the lower zip ties. Like this. Tighten one zip tie on the lower mount and then tighten one zip tie on the upper portion. Like this. Similarly, we must tighten the other zip ties. Here we have completed mounting our X carriage onto the X axis smooth rods. You can see how the zip ties are tied. These locks are fitting into these notches given on top. Similarly, there are two zip ties on the bottom portion. Check the X carriage for smooth movement. Similarly, on the other side. These are the zip ties. Check for movement. We have nice and smooth movement here on the X carriage. Now we would be installing the M5 threaded rods onto the Z axis. We have prepared these M5 rods with the couplers. 
these are 5 mm to 5 mm couplers this side will go into the shaft of the NEMA 17 motor rods have been inserted about 1 cm into the coupler and the set screw on both the sides have been tightened while preparing the rod in this manner you must ensure that the rod is absolutely straight into the coupler like this now take the M5 rod and install it onto the X motor and just thread it in like this here like this and here like this if we have installed one of the M5 threaded rods just leave the coupler a couple of centimeters above the Z axis Z motor mount so that the NEMA 17 motor can be installed easily similarly on the right hand side now we shall be installing the Z motor onto the side with the X motor that is the left hand side of the frame firstly we must install these three M3 10 mm long screws into the Z axis motor mount in this manner thereafter take the, take the NEMA 17 motor keep in mind that the wiring should go towards inside of the frame like this thereafter we must install the motor in this manner here we have finished installing the left hand side Z axis motor onto the frame some points which are to be kept in mind are the plastic part that is the Z axis mount should be absolutely flat and it should be absolutely square to the face of the NEMA 17 motor and the shaft of the motor should be parallel to the smooth rod Z axis smooth rod now we shall be coupling the M5 threaded rod and the shaft of the motor using the coupler which we had already installed in the threaded rod in order to do that just align the coupler the whole of the coupler with the shaft and slide it down into the shaft in this manner now we must ensure that at least one set screw is one set of set screw should be on the flat of the motor and then we tighten these set screws here we have completed the assembly of our z axis and semi assembly of our x axis some points which we need to keep in mind are the wiring of both the z-axis motor it should face towards inside of the frame the z-axis motor should be absolutely flat to the z-axis motor mount and the threaded rod should be as parallel to the smooth rod as possible the x carriage and the x idler they should be at the same level this we can do by adjusting the m5 threaded rods now we shall be learning how to install the motor onto the X carriage the motor will be installed in this manner and also we shall be learning how to install the belt which will move the X carriage before we begin installation of the X axis motor and the belt on the X axis we must first merge this complete X and Z axis setup to the Y carriage setup which we had prepared earlier
in order to do that first of all we must prepare the y carriage in the following manner this is the y motor side and this is the y idler side now this 10 millimeter m m this m10 nut which is on towards the y idler side the gap between the m10 nut and the side towards the y motor should be about 215 millimeters the gap between these two nuts can be anything so that the frame fits between them easily in order to install the x and z axis with the y carriage we must keep the z axis motor away from the y motor in this manner you can see the flat portion is facing the y motor now simply we need to slide this y carriage over the x and z axis assembly like this we must ensure that one m10 nut and one m10 washer is on either side Here we can see one M10 washer and one M10 nut. Here also we can see one washer and one M10 nut. Similarly, one washer and one M10 nut are onto this side. Here you can see the orientation of the main frame with respect to the Y carriage frame and the Y carriage. This is the longish portion which should be facing away from the X carriage. In this manner now we need to tighten this m10 nuts from both the sides along with the washers so that this complete assembly is merged together we have tightened this m10 nuts here and the m10 nuts and the washers they are holding these two frames together while tightening this m10 nuts we need to keep in mind that this main frame has to be absolutely perpendicular to this Y carriage frame. Now we shall be installing the X motor and the belt which will drive the X carriage. Here we have installed the X axis motor using three 15 millimeter long M3 screws. While installing this motor, we must keep in mind that the motor face of the motor is absolutely square and absolutely flush to the plastic part also we need to keep in mind that the pulley which we will be installing onto the motor should be in line with the groove which has been provided for the belt to move the X carriage here you can see how the pulley has been installed you must take care that at least one screw that is the grub screw of the pulley should be on the flat portion of the motor shaft now we shall be installing the belt onto the X carriage for this you would need a 915 millimeter long GT2 belt in order to install the belt first of all take the belt and make a loop like this about a one inch long loop Thereafter, we need to install the belt in this manner, like this. Now, you can see that how we have installed the belt initially. This is the X motor side and this is the X idler side. Once you install the belt, you need to press the belt into the grooves of the belt holder. You can use a scale to push the belt into the teeth of the belt holder. Like this.
here we can see that the belt has been pushed into the teeth of the belt holder and now it is tight now we need to tie this belt here with the help of a zip tie here we can see how this belt has been installed and it has been tied off with the zip ties pay attention that the knob of the zip ties should be facing down now we need to take the belt and keeping the notch portion downwards we need to take the belt and loop it around the x axis pulley like this we need belt keeping it parallel to the rod we loop it through the x idler in this manner just ensure that the belt lies on the x idler pulley here we can see that the belt is parallel to the smooth rod on top as well as below that now we need to tighten this belt with the other belt holder in the same manner as we tightened it with the previous belt holder for this it is better if you take help of some of your friend who can hold this uh, carriage so that while you tighten this carriage does not move like this you need to tighten this belt as much as possible so here we can see that the belt has been installed and it is it has been taught by using these zip ties on both ends please uh, pay attention to the orientation of the belt it comes like this from here it is like this like this now we shall test the x carriage for movement just ensure that the belt moves the x carriage in a smooth manner check from the side you might need to adjust the position of the pulleys slightly so that the belt the x carriage belt holder and the y idler pulley they are in a straight line and the belt does not twist while doing movement so here we have completed the mechanical assembly of the prusa i3 frame both the x carriage and the z carriage and the y carriage are assembled together x carriage is moving and the y carriage is also moving nicely the subsequent part we shall be learning how to assemble the extruder and install the extruder and thereafter we will get on to the electronics and calibration part thank you